one of the most respected members of cabinet is trying to stop the bleeding. Mr. Goodale, the public you? safety minister invoked his oath of office and didn't answer questions on the Jasper Atwal affair at a committee meeting today. I am not permitted to deal in public with classified information. The government has blamed Liberal MP Randeep Sarai for inviting Atwal to official events during the Prime Minister's trip to India. A senior intelligence official also told reporters that rogue factions in India played a role in getting the would-be assassin to the functions. Today, the Prime Minister suggested both theories are factors in the debacle. The MP who extended this invitation uh, has taken responsibility for extending that invitation. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I recognize that uh, our intelligence agencies do good work. But a former director of Canada's spy agency questions why a senior security official is speaking to reporters. If, that is, if it is true, it is very sensitive information, and I am. it would seem to me that the only reason for doing that would have been considerable political pressure to do it. Look, When journalists uh, asked Ralph Goodale to explain uh, the connection between the theories, he wouldn't bite. Is the MP part of the rogue element? I have, you can, you want, you want me to speculate about uh, operational Don't details? Don't speculate, just no, tell I, us. No, I can't, I can't. As Goodale tried to leave and put the issue to bed, the same MP who invited Atwal to the events just happened to walk directly toward reporters. Mr. Sarai. So, we just heard from Mr. Goodale, are you a part of these rogue elements from the government? No. So then when you hear the rogue elements theory, what do you think? How did you not know about Mr. Atwal? Uh, oh. Did you contact the government in order to get Mr. Atwal into the party? How did you not know about Mr. Atwal? You know Mr. Atwal? How did you not know about Mr. Atwal? As much as they want to, the Liberals just can't seem to change the channel. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa.